pa muna yung vlog Tapos na. <laughs> but it just doesn't work no. out. I was just playing Mario Sunshine and I was like saying like... I, I was thinking like... <laughs> you fat. I know. I was just thinking like the long jump would completely screw that game up. Like I couldn't even think about like... What it would be like playing Mario Sunshine if you had the long jump. Oh I know. I, I'm actually playing through that game for the first time. Um, I love that game. It's really fun, I don't know. It's just like... The Mario platformers are so much fun because there's... I, I definitely like jumping around because there's so much stuff you can do while you're in the middle of the I, air. What I like about like Mario is that like everyone kind of gets their own certain way of doing things. You're like you can there are so many different ways that you can jump here or jump to there or get the this thing. Do that kind of way. Yeah. And I like the way you kind of like develop your individual way of doing it. Okay, keep going. No, keep going left from that rock. Just just go around the perimeter. Like Samuel you... Jackson. Yeah, and it's not like too high up in the air, it's like really near the surface of the water. So let's just scope the, the surface area there. But it always annoyed me when everyone was complaining that like Mario Sunshine was nothing like a Mario game. Even when like when you think about it, like Mario 64 is is nothing like any Mario game that ever came before it. Yeah, that's and, like, true. I don't see why. Yeah, like I don't see why you should compare Mario Sunshine to Mario 64 as if Mario 64 were the qu quintessential Mario game. <laughs> now, um, what, what I think is kind of cool about Banjo-Kazooie, though, is it's very similar to those Mario games, but the, be the best thing is that once you get a jiggy, it doesn't force you outside of the world. Yeah. And that's the only I thing I didn't that like about, about those, those fucking green stars just pissed me off so much because of that. Well, not in Super Mario Galaxy, but in, um... I I'm assuming in Galaxy 2, it's like, where the hell is it? I think you must have gone past it. <laughs> okay, we, we like, finished Treasure Trove Cove really quickly, and now we're going to spend a half an hour trying to get this honeycomb piece. And you know, I have, this... um, I have the guide to Banjo-Kazooie. I don't know where it is, but it's in my house somewhere. And it has, <laughs> it has like, everything mapped out, and... It shows you what- oh, there's Mumbo Hogan. I wonder if I can swoop down and get it and still stay airborne! Darn it, no. Nearly. Oh. Nearly. Whenever I say, like, whenever, like, my, um, my dad does this thing that's really annoying, that, like, whenever, like, I'm cooking or something and he's like, oh, is it done yet? And I'll be like, oh, it's nearly done. And then my dad will go, like, nearly done? Who's that? <laughs> like, as what? if it's someone's name. Oh yeah, when I was a little kid, I would be like, hey, I'm thirsty, and my dad would go, well, I'm Friday! <laughs> <laughs> You're such a jerk, dad. Why did you do that? I like the way you gave your dad, like, a voice that would be befitting of, like, Bowser or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, well, I'm Friday! Or Thursday. <laughs> Whatever. Um, <laughs> There's this really funny ad here, like, for the this go compare ad or whatever and like when he said like the, the ad is like set on a desert island like Robinson Crusoe is getting his car insurance or something like that <laughs> and then like they're, they're like um go to go compare and then like Robinson Crusoe goes it'll be done by Friday and it shows like this black person sitting at a computer on the beach and he like gives him a thumbs up like it'll be done by Friday what? so like man Friday will do it I keep on finding things that I don't need, but... You found like, you found like 10 bajillion mumbo tokens. <laughs> I know. For the love of God, where is this honeycomb piece? I told you, it's floating in the air. Oh! Over the washer. Over the washer. That's not vague. <laughs> it's floating in the air. Somewhere. <laughs> Yeah, like I said, the... Somewhere <laughs> out there. <laughs> so... Is that from, like, Rival Goes West or something? Yeah. That was amazing. Or an American tale. Yeah, an American tale, yeah. I just wanna, like... What does it say? Shark bait something, I think it says. Shark bait! Shark... <laughs> no, I don't... <laughs> <laughs> it's a shark food island. That's why I always thought it was like belongs to Snacker. <laughs> Cause that's where he keeps all his shark food on the island. Where is it? <laughs> I'm like going crazy. 
You know, everyone's probably like going like you've probably like flown past it, like ten times, and everyone's probably like going like, "There it is, you idiot! It's right there." I don't blame them. Ah! There it is. <gasps> yeah! <laughs> we can get out of this place. That actually didn't take too long. I, I'm kind of bummed because this is like my favorite level. One of my favorite <laughs> levels. Oh man, I heard Snackers music. <laughs> well, that actually didn't take as long as I thought it was going to. It's every sailor's nightmare, an Austin Asho in D minor. <laughs> Can't you hear the music, boy? <laughs> Oh, Nosferatu. <laughs> <laughs> this was just a regular dollar that's been soaked in the lagoon of tear torn a little and kissed with Carl Blue Lipstick number 5. <laughs> Actually, Carl Blue Lipstick number 6. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the, other day I was, the other day I was watching uh, Spongebob and for some reason, like, the line that cracked me up in that episode was like, um... Are you sure you don't need any else? Anything else? Do you need me to make a back scratcher out of your own spine? Or maybe <laughs> yeah. extinguish the sun so the light doesn't get in your eyes? <laughs> <laughs> don't be so over dramatic. I'm go I want something that's very hard to find. Cherry pie. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. Where'd you get that? I found it. <laughs> Well, go find it again! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, we could go up there, but that's not where the next level is, so... That's where the puzzle is, isn't it? It's up in this pipe. I think so. Sometimes Grunge you... Slayer gets me a little confused. Yeah, this yeah, is the I way to the... This is the way to the, um... Next level, but it's... Part. Yeah. Okay, I'm not in the right place. Hold on. I get those two pipes confused, because it's like I can't remember which one leads to where. This doesn't- Wasn't oh, also like, you use the jump pad in the place with the big circle-y grunty thing? Oh yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. But I'm gonna go ahead and unlock this thing right here. Oh, the, the pot. The pot, the pot, the pot. <laughs> it's wonder we weren't doing more Spongebob crap seeing as we were in Treasure Trove Cove. Oh yeah, you're right, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> Um, yeah, you're right. I completely forgot where the puzzle is, and now I remember. Thank you! I always forget where it is as well. I only remember just there. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's because, you know, it's, it's unlockable until you get the pad or whatever. This floor always weirded me out. <laughs> it's like you're walking on her eyeball, and it's, um... <laughs> Should we talk to Brentilda? Oh yeah, I was going to wonder that whether she, we should talk to her as we see her, or whether we should um, wait until the end. Because in one way, it's kind of almost funnier if you wait until the end and do them all one after the other. Yeah, because they're I... so freaking hilarious. Okay, seriously, it wouldn't let me do the Z trick until Bottles told me that I could do the Z trick. Yeah, I hate the way it does that. Because I, I was sitting there trying to press Z, trying to get all the puzzle pieces in there, but it wasn't letting me. Oh god, I just realized our, um, the Brentilda things are gonna be different between our two games. You're right. That's so funny. Should we, like, show each of our different ones? Um, I don't know. We'll figure out how we're gonna do that. Um. Yeah. Probably right after we finish recording this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so we gotta go up here. Gotta step on the switch, bitch. Ho ho! <laughs> <laughs> like Santa We're getting re <laughs> We're getting really tired now. We're both kind of just like, uh... <laughs> yeah, I know. The first couple episodes were just like, we're so witty, we started talking about Paul Simon and like, I don't even know. <laughs> but now it's like, because that's the sign of wit. It's Paul Simon. Yeah, I think... I think we're both, like, really tired because of, like, t uh, because, like, Spitfire and Infinitive, it's, like, the morning. Well, it's not the morning anymore. No, it's, but she like, got up, like, this morning. She got up this morning to record, like, the first parts of Banjo-Kazooie. And, like, this is, like, my third, like, hour of commentary that I've been doing, because I did, I, I recorded, like, four parts of Metroid Prime, and then I recorded, 
like my section of Banjo Kazooie, and now I'm doing this one with you. So like I'm really like. Well, how do we get this thing up? Isn't there something over there? Ah, whatever. Yeah, there is. I don't know uh, where the button is. I think it. You know what? Who's got the button? Yeah, seriously, I don't remember how to get over there. What oh. button? Who took my false teeth? What? Is it that one over there to the left? Like that one right over there next to where you're standing. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you think you're all that and a bag of chips? Well, you're not. <laughs> oh my god, in elementary school, there was this, um... I was friends with this girl who was in a grade higher than me, and I didn't really want to be friends with her, but she was just like one of those really <laughs> trolling people. Anyway, but there was this really fat, awkward kid in our class. No, I don't want to talk to you! Hello like there, friend. young ones! I'm Gruntilda, Gruntilda's nicest sister! I've come down here to help you defeat the old hag. It's about time she was taught a lesson! I know old Grunty's disgusting secrets, and I'll tell you three of them every time you find me! Remember them well, young ones, as they will help you avoid a fiery fate. Press B if you'd like to hear them. Not right now. But yeah, anyway. Yeah, me, me, yeah what, what, you, there was this girl who wanted to be your friend, and you were like, no, I don't want to be your friend. Well, yeah, but she, because she was so mean. She was such a mean person. So, like, um... What was I gonna say? Oh, yeah, yeah, so there was this one kid in our class who was really awkward and fat. And, like... <laughs> I'm not gonna put it nicely, he was pretty big. So anyway, um... And she was talking about him, and she was like, Well, he just thinks that he's, um, all that in a bag of chips. And he's like, and she's like, No, you know what? He's all that in 15 pounds of chicken. <laughs> <laughs> That's terrible. It's still really funny, though. Do you think I should go down there and see what's in there? I can't remember. Um, it's the puzzle for Bubble Gloop Swamp, is it? Oh, there? okay. Alright. Well, in that case, uh, we're right in front of Clanker's Cavern, which will be played by Harry. Um, Yay! I know, and um, here's. Uh, we're gonna go to his channel to, to see it. So, see you all next time, guys. Yes, see you guys later. Bye!